Hey there, Shauna Newman here from Skip Blast. Today I want to talk about this new tool that I've been playing around with called Niche Site Metrics. I'll show you some screenshots of how this tool works and then I'll show you how you can use it and how I've been using it to kind of see if it makes sense for you to use for your sites. All right, let's check it out. Though it started out as just a simple Airtable spreadsheet, uh, the current iteration of the Niche Site Metrics tool, it actually runs as a standalone app that you can find at nichesitemetrics.com. Uh, that's what I have on my screen right here, is this is what the front page of that looks like. Now, at its core, uh, I, think, I think you'll find that this tool is essentially just a massive database of a variety of sites that are all monetized with display ads, uh, affiliate links from either Amazon or ShareASale, or a combination of those. As you can see here on the homepage, um, Ian, who's the creator of this tool, uh, he's given you a, you know, a variety of different metrics that you can actually use to filter all of the data that's actually in this database. Um, I've been using this for a few days now myself, and I think of all of the available filter options that you have, the opportunity score that he's come up with, that is gonna be the most interesting thing and what I think you will actually end up using the most because that's what I've actually found myself using the most. Um, now the opportunity score that you're gonna find in this tool, it, it doesn't come from any other type of tool. It's something that Ian came up with all on his own. Um, it ranges from one to 100 uh, with the higher the score, meaning the better the opportunity for you. Uh, and how he calculates this metric is that it's based on a website's estimated traffic coming from the American audience and the Ahrefs DR. So the highest opportunity, so that ones with the highest opportunity score, they're going to be the sites that have the lowest DR with the highest traffic that's coming from the American audience. Um, so as you're using this tool, of course, you know, you can filter the data that's in it using any of the available options or you can just simply download the entire database in a CSV format. And that allows you to kind of manipulate the data that you end up with however you like. Maybe you want to sort by one column as, as the primary and another column as the secondary. You can't really do that in this tool, but that is something that you can do once you export it into a CSV format. Okay, now let me, I'm already logged into this tool. So let's take a look of what it looks like once you're in the dashboard and you're actually using the tool. Okay, um, now once you're all logged in, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's really clean. Uh, there's not a lot of noise going on here. It just gives you all of the filter options that you can use to kind of fill in, you know, what you're searching for within this database, which I believe at the time that I'm recording this is over 63,000 different sites. Just to give you an example real quick of how it looks once you're actually searching for something, uh, let's say that I have a recipe site, so I, I don't really know how he has an Okay, so he has food and drink. So let's just go to food and drink. We will search to see what the results are. And this is, this is how that kind of displays for you once you do a search. Uh, you can actually search for multiple of these options to filter from. Um, but I find myself just only picking a niche and paying attention to the opportunity score, like I said. Um, as you work through this, uh, you may have kind of the same thoughts that I had as I've been using it, which is there's so much data here that as you're scrolling through it, that top bar here that tells you what each column is for, it's not sticky. So it doesn't stay with you as you scroll. So if you're down here way at the bottom and you find a great opportunity and you're like, oh man, I have no idea what these final columns mean, I don't really know if this is actually a good opportunity for me is not. So ironically enough, um, I actually do wish that this top row would stay sticky, kind of like with a spreadsheet. So that, that may be something that you find as well. Um, I tend to have kind of zero retention for what those column headings are actually about. Um, so maybe that, maybe, maybe you're not like that, but that is one minor quibble that I do have with this tool. Otherwise I'm getting a lot of value from it myself. Um, but I do, I do think you should know that while this is a lot of data, there are currently really only two clickable items per row of data about a site. So where you see these URLs listed here in this very first column, those domain, that domain column, you can actually click on that domain and it will take you directly to that website. 
Uh, I'll just show you that right here with fast food menu prices. You can see it just loads the homepage of that site right for you. Uh, that's a good feature if you're not really sure what a site's going to be about. Um, so you want to check it out for yourself. The only other thing that you can actually click on in a row is that little more details hyperlink that you see underneath every single website domain. Uh, now, once you click on that, what you end up getting is this pop-up that gives you more details about the particular site in this row. Uh, so let's just go back to that same fast food menu prices here. So I click on more details and I get this pop-up. Uh, as you can see, it gives us some of the same information that we already have you know, in that main database, but it's kind of popping it out for us, giving us a like an uncluttered view of what this particular domain is about. Um, but what I actually really, really like about this particular feature of this tool is that there are actually two clickable areas within this little pop-up. Uh, the Ahrefs uh, hyperlink up here and the SEMrush link they both actually work to take you to either the Ahrefs or the Simrus page for that particular domain. Um, I think I'm actually logged into my Ahrefs account so I can show you exactly what that looks like with this one. Okay, as you can see, this is what it looks like when you click through that Ahrefs link for any of these domains that you're interested in. Uh, you just get the main page that comes up whenever you input any type of URL into Ahrefs. Um, if you are on one of the new billing plans that Ahrefs has that's credit-based, uh, do keep in mind that every time you click that, it will cost you a credit, and that could probably you know, use up all your credits pretty quickly with them. Um, so you may be more interested in utilizing the Simrush uh, hyperlink that's, that pops up, because I do know that they have... Uh, daily free limits for you to actually use if you don't already have a SimRush account. And I'll show you what that looks like when you click on SimRush. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a different tool. Um, but definitely if you are on that new Ahrefs uh, price plan, keep that in mind and don't go crazy clicking all of these. So now that I've shown you how this tool works, you may be thinking, you know, do I really need this? Is this something that's actually beneficial for me? Because the truth is you can actually find all of these sites on your own for free. Uh, most of these uh, sites can actually be found in the JSON files for the various ad networks. Um, so the real benefit of this particular tool is that it's a time saver, right? Um, and as I'm thinking about like, who is this tool for? Who would get the most use out of it? I can really only think of two primary use cases here. Uh, so first you could use this as a tool for kind of niche discovery. Let's say that you want to start yourself a new site. Uh, you don't really know what niche you want to go into, but you just know that you want something that's going to pay you well, right? So you could use this tool with no filters other than sorting it by highest opportunity score. Then you just kind of go through that, look for things that kind of look interesting to you, maybe something that you're interested in, like, oh, hey, maybe I'd like to start a site about crossword answers or something like that. Um, that is one of the primary use cases that I can see for this, especially for people who are new to building sites. Um, you know, but for me, I, I'm not new to building sites and I certainly do not need to add any more new sites to my portfolio. So what my use case is for this is finding other sites that are in the niches that I'm in, you know, that, that maybe haven't made it onto my radar yet. So they are competitors, but they haven't shown up in any of the tools that I use just yet. So why would I want to find these sites? Well, first I can see what type of content they're ranking for, what kind of keywords they have going on. You know, that might give me some ideas of new topic clusters for my own site. But the real benefit for me is seeing how these other competitors are actually monetizing their site. And the reason this is so important is because it helps you to discover a new revenue stream for your site if you find that they're using a program that you're not actually using. Uh, in fact, the very first day that I bought this tool and I was playing around with it, I ended up discovering a new competitor in one of my niches who was using this affiliate program that I didn't even know existed. And I was like, oh man, this is a great find. So I immediately went to Impact Radius, applied to it, and a few days later I got approved and I've actually already started earning money from it. So that was really the benefit for me. And if you already have your own sites and you're not looking to start a new site, that is how you can actually use this tool for your own benefit. I also think that you're just really gonna like just the sheer amount of data that there is available to you in this tool. 
Um, like I said, I can see right here, the time I'm recording this, there's almost 63,000 results coming up. Um, and I bought this tool very early on in its creation. And in that short amount of time, Ian, who's the creator of the tool, like I said before, he just continues to make all these crazy updates to it. Um, this tool started out with a much smaller data set. So I can only imagine how much this is going to grow as he continues to work on it. Um, so if you're on the fence about buying this and you weren't really sure if it's a good idea for you or not, um, it is something that I do recommend. And I actually suggest that you get it while the tool is still just available for a one-time cost. Because I did see the creator on Twitter recently saying that he was going to move it to a subscription model. So I don't know how much he'll be charging for it or if it'll still be a good buy at that price point. But right now, I definitely recommend it if you're looking to kind of either find some new niches to go into or to kind of find some new competitors, like I said. If you like this video, then go ahead and let me know by subscribing to my channel. Uh, maybe leaving me a comment if you have any questions or anything or go ahead and give this video a like. Uh, by doing this, it kind of lets me know if I should create more videos on topics like this or if I should try something else to kind of help you build and grow your own sites. All right, thanks for watching.